Today we're back in the Cess. A lot has changed. I've updated the village. I look different. I did a little bit of playing in the background. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of brief you on what's gone, what's gone on uh, in the interim since we've been gone. Uh, mainly a lot of village management taking place. We have a, an actual kitchen now. I've just specialized some of these areas so I can visually tell them apart. They've been roasting everything. I've brought a lot of food in uh, to my own inventory because it all buffs you during battle. Also, the NPCs are cooking their own food, they're guarding the village, and they've even donned some of the armor I was wearing. I went to the desert and I got quartz armor, and I unintentionally killed one of the bosses, which will end up in going back and re-killing today, because as it turns out, there is a reward for beating a boss multiple times. The other night, I, I went back and I killed Evil's Protector, the first boss, like three or... Actually, I killed that boss seven more times. So maybe not like so thrilling, but... Honestly, I had fun because it was like, it was getting easier and easier every single time, and I, I kind of like that. Uh, I lost my second balance foci, but basically I had been doing more summon damage before, but this increases all of my damage by 15%, so it's really good. And then I also made a, an explorer satchel, which uh, I replaced some of my boots with. I've still kept the force of wind for my... Um, for my trinket, but now I'm just walking around faster. It's a little bit hard to see that, but I am. Um, what else is there to say? I'm just going to go ahead and drop some of these on the ground, and my NPCs around me should go and pick those up and put them into the right places. They all do hauling. It's just really neat to watch them work and do their jobs throughout the day. Somebody should come and pick those up before too long. I just destroyed everything before, and they did it. Uh, what else did I do? I got a vulture staff in the desert. Ah, uh, there we go, they picked him up. Um, so I got a vulture staff in the desert. We will go back and kill that boss, totally unintentionally. I somehow killed a higher level boss before I even got to the lower level one, so I figure we should be able to go fight the giant swamp worm today. Uh, what else? I've, like, basically loaded myself up with, um, with potions and other buffing items so that I'm stronger in battle. Uh, what else is there to say? Balanced foci, spider charm. I fought uh, the giant spider one more time. I got a frozen heart. Yeah, I mean, it, actually, quite a lot of progress happened, but it's also that we can get to the action phases today. I've also differentiated some of these scrolls and other items, set a few more work orders, and just basically separated everything out in my base a little bit more intelligibly. It's still not perfect by any means, but honestly, it feels like I'm... It feels like you're a little colonist in a bigger RimWorld colony who goes off and, like, has adventures on his own. And it is kind of a neat feeling. I, I like that about this game. I don't think I'm going to take a, a party with me. I probably could. Um, but why, actually, why am I not doing that? Uh, I am afraid for them slightly, but maybe I could just try it with one of them. Let me see if, yeah, let me have one of the guards join my adventure party. Here, I will give you food and potions here. I will give you 50 of the... Actually, that might be way too many for you. You will probably be horribly irresponsible with that. Okay, I'm going to bring a guard with me and maybe like a wizard. Um, here we go. Uh, you can also... I don't know if you'll need a mana potion. I'll give you a battle... Nah, I'm going to take keep that for me. You can get like a knockback potion. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's the party inventory. I do like that they've simplified that. Um, nonetheless, nonetheless, a lot of my people are on strike right now, but uh, whatever. I'm going to bring the wizard with me as well. Um, join my adventure party. Cool. So now I have a wizard with me. Is the wizard coming with me? He is adventuring with me. Oh, but I can have only one at a time. Oh, then let me bring my guard on the adventuring party. I'm not sure if that rises as you go. Oh, wait a minute. No, I now I have two. Three. I have three. I stand corrected. Never mind. Um, okay, we will go into the ocean. How does my party do with that? Okay, they do have their own boats. Wow, this is sweet. I'm like, ra I'm like a Viking going out to raid the foreign lands. Uh, wait a minute. Come on. The, the mage is slower because he's in a wooden boat and I just happen to be myself, so I'm faster. Yeah, people are unionizing at the base because they're not in the mood to work. Fortunately, they don't really go on mood breaks or anything like that because I feel as though that might be a bit, I don't know, micromanagey. Um, let's see. I think if we go to, let's go to the south here. 
And I, I gotta remember to just keep traveling east and west on the map because north-south is actually not really a very efficient way to travel. All right, let's see what happens if I just kind of leave them behind slightly. Will it ask me? Um, also, do I have a spiked fossil with me? I do have a spiked fossil. We're going to clear the area out around the, um... Like, we're in way too powerful armor for this boss fight, I'm just going to add. Um, here we go. I'll actually be going south. And then click travel east again. So you keep, if you keep just staying on the east side of the map and traveling east, you can somehow go south. It is oddly convenient. So, don't question it. Um, what else do we have? I think I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna use my ladder down that I placed over there the last time we were adventuring in this area. And we will head our way down into the swamp mine. Honestly, the swamp mine is kind of, like, crowded and difficult to fight in, which was probably the main reason I died super fast the last time. We now have the Mindful Frost Piercer, and we have the Void Staff, which is way stronger because I was basically using it pretty underpowered the last time. Let's go ahead and check out our map, too. Okay, screw this, actually. Let's go back up. Uh, make our way across the island and just fight... Um... Let's go fight in a more open area. Now, I don't have any bombs on me, but we'll do a little bit of adventuring before we go down to try to clear the area out. Of the gi uh, for the giant worm encounter. Hmm. Here we go. We're off to the sea wizard. The wonder... If Actually, there is a giant pirate in this game. Like a giant evil pirate. And when you defeat him, he becomes a broken pirate. But he can give you deep ladders to go further down. There's a couple more bosses. I'd say if we get through the next three, we'll be about halfway through the boss content in the game. Uh, which is pretty sweet. You know, like, there is quite a lot to look through here. Um, I'm getting Swamp Stone, which is unfortunately not really as useful, I think, as, uh, as whatchamacallit, as regular stone. I had to do a lot more stone work in order to complete the wall on our base. But, I mean, what I'm doing right here is just trying to mine out the walls so that I'm ready for the uh, worm boss. I'm just going to kind of skip ahead until I'm done mining. Either that or find some bombs around here. Because I unfortunately don't have any explosive item in my inventory. Like, some type of explosive weapon would be insanely useful, but I just don't have it. Um, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't you like my vultures? Yeah, they're better than my spiders. And they can... Um, actually, I haven't really compared their damage, but... Just the fact that they can, like, I think it's similar to the spiders, but they can go through walls, which is insane and great for bosses because bosses tend to step over a lot of things. Although this boss's movement patterns are horrible and annoying. So, anyway, back in a few. Okay, my task has been interrupted because I'm being raided from the northwest by raiders, of course. Uh, I will still keep my adventuring party because I think these are some of the strongest NPCs that I have. Wait a minute, 128, is that the time? Okay, raiders are approaching the morning woods from the northwest. Uh, whoops, northwest is this, I always confuse west and east for some reason. Now, it remains to be seen if they will try to mine their way through my walls, or if they will use one of my entrances. I have placed a fire trap over here, but I... Okay, there's not really any time to, like, rearm this thing. Yeah, uh, you know, it actually looks like they're probably going to hit the eastern entrance. We may have a chance here. Okay, the music is changing. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid. Hang on a moment. Let's see if we can rearm this trap, just because it is kind of cool, honestly. Uh, and I will also place a stone wall. Let's just wall up the entire north side to see if we can feed them in through the east, because I'm curious if my trap idea will work. Um... Don't get trapped on the other side. Don't be stupid. Okay. Um, the raiders are on their way. So they're all going to become... Raider, raider. <laughs> the raiders of Oakland. Um, okay, I'm thinking if we put the trap armed like over here. Facing that way. Then we put a pressure plate there. And we try to just feed them all in through there. We can force them all to step on this. Let's also go ahead and just... Uh, 
Oh god. Oh god, why? Wait a second. Let me just grab the wrench for a second. Uh, available wire. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I've placed the wire. As you can see, people are being hurt by it. So do not step on that. Don't be an idiot. Let them come to us. Now, I don't think that this will really do quite a lot to the raiders, but... Like, we may be completely screwed. Probably some of my villagers will die. Will die. Like, the last time we did this, two of the miners died. They are pretty squishy, but they've gotten stronger all the time, and... I don't think that we're this strong, quite frankly, although they are headed for the... I'm just gonna get out some icicles. This is actually a rather scary raid. Okay, they are not going straight for the wall to destroy the wall. Let's see if we can get them through the wall. No, we can't, but I could hit them with my vultures. And then they come in through the trap. No! Ooh, that is not what I wanted. Apparently, my people just rush in toward the enemy, like, very enthusiastically. Okay, they will retreat when they get hurt, which is unfortunate. Okay, so my two guards got very badly hurt and are just basically headed back through there. Otherwise, I'm just going to shoot my void rod at them, and this will hopefully scare them all into submission. Although, I am seeing a pattern of, like, basically, if you could get all the enemies to line up in some very obvious way... That makes your life considerably easier here. Also, just take all my battle potions so I'm way stronger, because I may even be able to get through this raid without them killing any of my villagers now. Okay, I died. They did, unfortunately, kill me. Okay, let's head back into the village. Fortunately, your villagers are not completely defenseless, and before they die, they're pretty smart, and they generally tend to go back to their rooms and, like, fix themselves up. But... Okay, we survived long enough here. The Great! The raiders have been defeated. I did want to see one successful raid. I think that the trap was basically useless. We need to put it on the edge of the island somewhere to just kind of soften them up. Uh, for now, I'm going to basically despawn this thing. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Although I do think that if we did just a long column for raiders to get funneled into, that would probably be pretty effective. Kind of like RimWorld uh, kill boxes. Yeah, kind of like a RimWorld-style kill, uh, like a kill hallway or something like that. I don't know if I could do embrasures, but I did get a few other things from them. Demonic chest plate. Uh, unfortunately, that's not as good as what I'm currently wearing. Alright, so, I mean, that's pretty much a raid. Let's go ahead and get our party healed up and then go back to the swamps. I mean, on the bright side, we do get some loot. Uh, we got more iron chest plates and stuff like that from them. So even if you lose a lot, you're at least acquiring more stuff for your villagers. And more migrants seem to show up quite often, so... Um, actually, I'm gonna go to bed myself. Jake the farmer. Uh, because you can pass time pretty quickly that way. This is 3.33 a.m. Alright, meet back up at the swamp. I'm ready to summon the boss. I'm going to just go ahead and put the last few items I need in my inventory, get up my fourth spot, uh, summon, and then we will use the spiked fossil. Okay, this is the Swamp Guardian, an extremely powerful boss, and in my opinion, better than the uh, Desert Vulture. Gosh, he really is tricky. I don't know why they ask you to fight this boss before the Vulture, if they do at all with the Vulture. Because the Vulture was actually not that bad. Although this guy is just shooting everything at us. Having to take other potions. The worst thing is when you get caught in his coils. Jesus. God, can anyone survive this? This is insane. 8,000. I still think I'm going to die here. Yeah. Wow. But we took away like two-thirds of his HP before we did... die. What went wrong? I feel like a bigger adventuring party could have done it. We didn't have any cave glow with us, and fortunately it doesn't seem as if our people died. Let's go ahead and get more food, get a bigger adventuring party, and go back. Because all of my potions are back there, and that is bad. Okay, so a brief side quest. Uh, while we are getting ready to fight, I think we'll go for the Vulture next, maybe, and not the Swamp Guardian. We're just going to take out a boss that I know I can fight, and maybe fight it multiple times before we take out that Swamp Guardian, because, I mean, while we will get to it eventually, I just kind of want to get this part 
Man, you, you just love that fence, don't you? Is he in my advent? No, he's consuming roasted fish, although he seems to be stuck here. Oh, well. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, that is to say. Well, our, our villagers keep needing beds, and that's the one thing that I'm rarely prepared for them for. So we've gone ahead and just created a fenced area right here. Um, cool, that is working. And now we've also got a rope. So let's go ahead and see if we can just lasso some sheep. <laughs> Use our sheep lasso. Um, all right, I will add a rope to this sheep. Oh, cool. I can, like, lead the sheep back like it's my pet. That's actually sweet. And then it's coming back with me to my encampment. Bring it back into the field. Whoops. Uh, here we go. Permanently open it. Close. Remove rope. Oh, cool. We have, like, our own sheep area now. Ooh. What if we do a zone? Husbandry zone. Cool. Ooh, that's like our uh, forestry zone and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and just check out some other work priorities, our settlers. Uh, we do still have... Yeah, we still have an animal keeper, so that is surely... Um, yeah, never mind. Good. Okay, ooh, you can also tell them to not hide inside when they're low on health. Like, just stay out there, I guess, if you wanted to do that. Oh, cool! She's making the shaw! Oh... That's so sweet. Look, she just took all of the wool off of the sheep and is now putting it into there. I mean, everybody's just currently taking the best armor that they can, but that's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, now I can have them make their own beds and they don't have to keep bothering me for that. Hang on a second. Let me make bed orders here. Uh, bed. I think we've already given them that order, actually. Yeah, oak beds and spruce beds. Um... I will tell them to put that into the furniture thing. Is this all so, uh, some sort of mod? Nope, this is all the vanilla game. It's pretty freaking sweet. Um, let's just see. Do we have beds here too? Yeah, we are allowing beds. So they always bring back the furniture here. You know, if I were better, I would probably put them closer to each other just because I don't want them walking that far. But uh, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and just grab a couple more sheep, because one sheep to shear isn't all that much, but I think we could do a little bit better. Here we go. Uh, one. Oh, it's kind of joyous to bring back the sheep to the settlement. Um, okay, here we go. Come with me in here. Close. Remove rope. Now I have two sheep. Ooh, that's so many more beds for so many people. We won't just have to kill all of the sheep anymore. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of funny, but yeah... Uh, um, let me see. Here we go. Ooh, another one. I will allow our sheep shearer to shear you. All of the menial labor I'm now taking off of my own back and just giving to my settlers. Although, the, I guess the fact that you need to buy one of these from a farmer gives you, like, slightly fewer options there to begin with. Maybe I'll grab some cows, too, since I still have 17 pens left. Um... Yeah, let's see what they'll do with a uh, with a cow. Let me go ahead and bring in the sheep. There we go. Remove rope. And there. Um, I think I'll make one more pasture over here just beside this to see if we can get the cows into that. Uh, and also, too, like, keep in mind that we're replanting the woods and everything like that. Yeah, I mean, I'd say that your colonists do a pretty good job taking care of the colony when you're gone. Like, you... I feel like it's in good hands, and even if they had to defend themselves, well, maybe not defending themselves yet. That might be the one thing where I'm like, uh, although I haven't really had time to think of that. I've just been sort of like, let's get a lot of resources and handle that part, but that's yeah, nice. Hang on a second. Let's just add recipe for fences. Make sure you make, yeah, let's just say a hundred of those. Um, hmm, 49 more logs, and I will make a fence. I'm going to make more fences myself. I'll make like 20 or 30 fences. Put those into my inventory. And cool, I think we're off to the races now. Uh, let's just go ahead and put those things in there. Put my 13 doors in here. And we are already running out of uh, room. I, I think the one game that 
a couple of people had mentioned from the beginning, and I am getting kind of more vibes of it. And this is Stardew Valley. Feeling like a little bit of a Stardew vibe from it. Getting some of that. Definitely. Rimdu, Rimdu Valley area. Craft. Yeah. Great game. Uh, oh, I am also out of torches because I left uh, literally 100% of my loot down there when I died. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more cows. If I were a moo, moo. I wonder if I could get a rabbit. Okay, let me catch you. Nope, I don't think that I can rope the rabbits. <laughs> if only you could do that, though. I haven't seen the option to, like, milk a cow, but... Yeah, maybe if I just bring them back, my settlers will do the work and I'll figure out what I'm supposed to do. That was the only task that I, I just feel like you should have been able to craft your own rope, but whatever. There's probably somewhere you can find them, right? There we go. We'll let them do that. Close. And then we will just expand out this area for husbandry. Cool. Okay, so now they should do whatever people do with cows and let's go ahead and just offload our inventory I will put all my money in there fortunately your villagers don't steal your money I was thinking that that might happen like wait a minute why would I just leave all my money with them no they like put it in whatever assigned place it's supposed to go um okay yeah, like thief all right now I'm very hungry let's go back over to our kitchen that's what I'm talking about though it's kind of like uh Okay, only 158 coins. It does start to get really cheap to bring in villagers, but it's also like, eh, are you worth defending? Maybe not. I don't know. I'll just add in another one and see if it makes us better. But yeah, you can either like carry food with you or you can leave it in this place. Kind of cool. 28. I'll just bring enough for my next adventuring party. Ooh, they've got milk too. Whoa, milk gives you plus 10 max health. That's sweet. Let's bring a lot of this stuff with us. So there is like kind of an incentive to up your colony's game and get more advanced stuff going on. Just because, you know, if your NPCs will craft stuff for you or if they'll like handle that part of it, then they'll at least make your boss battles a little bit more convenient. All right, let's go ahead and, um, Steve, join my adventure party, and then let's just give him 24 legs of meat so that he will be happy with us forever. There we go. Be happy. Let's see what is the maximum, um... Okay, ooh, this guard managed to get himself better armor, too. Here we go, join my adventure party. I don't want to join you because I am unhappy. I have no bed. Wait a minute, what happened to your bed? We could just assign someone else's bed to you. Henry, where is Henry? <sighs> Crap. Uh, Henry, you get her bed. Great, okay, now are you happy? You're definitely happy now, join me. Yes, he is, <laughs> he's immediately happy. Thank you for giving me her bed. Uh, she's just... <laughs> She's just a laborer. Um, gunsmith. We do have a gunsmith as well. Let's just go ahead and see. I want to buy something. God, we could give our entire uh, party sniper rifles. You know what? <laughs> just give everybody shotguns. Is that even as good as the thing I have? <laughs> oh my god. It just <laughs> Screw the fantasy setting. Let's just give all of our party guns. Let's bring in Tim the guard too. Join my adventure party. Um, who else can we bring? I don't want to bring a villager. Villagers are too weak. Let's bring in Devin the guard too. Devin the card. Join my adventure party. Cool. Cool. How many can you have at once? I now have four. Can I get any more? Alchemist. Farmer. Not really like too squishy for combat. Uh, yeah, villager, villager, Abbot of the villager, 
uh, mage. I could probably bring Phil the mage with me too. All right, let's see if we can get a, just a bigger party now, and this time hopefully come back for the dub. Okay, so I totally forgot the giant worm spawn item. We're going to come to the desert anyway, because I think that this boss is a better one, at least for this level of character. We have plenty of people with me this time. Uh, we should stand a good chance in this fight, and I've cleared out much of this combat area already as well. Um, get ready, because this is going to be a pretty powerful boss. Um, okay, just get rid of all the other enemies in the area. We might want to seal ourselves in, but... I don't really have a word. I guess I could do that. Although I might screw myself by doing that too, so I don't know if that's really a great idea. I've read that you should do that with some of these. Configure your adventure party. I think they've got enough food for now. All right, let's give it a shot. We'll take one more round of battle potions, and then away we go. Okay, this is the Ancient Vulture. Now, you do get awards, awards, or rewards for fighting the same boss multiple times, but let's see how these NPCs do in this combat against it anyway. So I've got those, but I think that this wand is way stronger. Yeah, this thing has only 10,000 HP, which does show that it is basically a lower level boss. But basically it shoots projectiles at you, which I think that all my party is doing a better job at getting rid of. I've soloed this thing before, just me and my spiders, somehow. I had to do a lot of dodging though, so I figured, uh, all right, if I'm gonna do it on Twitch, I'll have to do it in a way that like, actually his horrible aim though. I have hardly even needed to take any potions. The NPCs are very good at not taking damages, though, because he doesn't really care about them. Oh, the, okay, now we're onto this type of attack. So you basically just have to walk in one direction to get rid of him. Swap out to some Shuriken for a second. Okay, that is basically useless just because of aim time. That's how he does against these icicles again. Using the icicles when we run out of mana is pretty good. Some of the bosses will have a moment when they're up in the air or away for a moment that you can use icicles or something like that just to prepare for when they come back. You know, this is also kind of an EDM banger too. The boss music in this game is great. Ah. Okay, party is still alive. I wonder what happens though when they get really low on health. Like, will they just die? Because some of those guards are not looking that great anymore. Okay, he's got 380 HP left. Okay, some of my party is dying now. Okay, so he has killed Devin and I think it was Steve. I don't really remember his name, but he died for us. Long live Steve, maybe. Put away the swamp sludge. We'll take his armor and uh, give it to someone else in his stead. Okay, we will take back a recall scroll. So we did get a vulture staff from that. I'm going to go ahead and show this. Melee damage, 43 knockback. So we can give this to the living guard. And maybe he will use it instead. Uh, or maybe I will use it. Oh, Jesus, this thing is great. Look at that. Wow. It would have been great if that guy who died could have used it. Dividend. I don't remember the other guy's name. Uh, yeah. It's a good thing they don't have levels, otherwise I would have given up a lot more. Yeah. I mean, it seems to me that the one thing that really remains between characters in this game... She's on strike. Oh yeah, that was the villager I let in, right? Um, the one thing that does... kind of keep up between playthroughs is like HP. Or sorry, not HP, um, weapons. We also found more quartz. That's useful. We can use that uh, for crafting other tools uh, that won't be used for armor for our people because they are mostly just expendable. I suppose it does beg the question what happens if you like lose all of your people. Can you just lose your gear too? That would be a pretty brutal setback. Because your gear, your gear basically is your leveling in this game. Um, also, too, I got rid of those boots, and I made them into this explorer satchel, so we're sort of... We're kind of using them all the time now, in a sense. Maybe not quite that fast. 
Um, hmm. All right, I guess we've got to kind of power ourselves up. we got to find some way of just getting stronger before we go to the next fight. Um, I do kind of stand by it that I think that the swamp is stronger. I somehow... <laughs> I'm surprised so many of them died. <laughs> uh, we might have to make another summon potion or something like that. Just because that is stupid OP. Um, what is it? I think it's... Invisibility fishing, uh, yeah, minion potion. We need glacial shards, cave glow, and ice fish. I don't even know where I've found this stuff. I guess you go fishing in the ice. Cave glow is the one that I'm really struggling on, though. I gotta figure out where some of these things are located, and then I'll get back. Okay, we have returned to the swamps to hopefully kill the boss this time. We've now prepared everything. I've given both of my... Uh, adventuring party members' guns. We just kind of got to focus on dodge for the full, whole first half of the fight. Um, and figure out this worm's pattern. Also, too, let's just, like, light up this area because we've got a couple of mobs spawning in from there. We want to make sure that other mobs aren't spawning in during our fight because that's going to make it harder. Um, yeah, just, like, random stuff keeps kind of coming up from the south. So if I put down a couple more torches here, and like, yeah, stuff will come up now, but just kill all of that. I also have my own machine gun for the fight, if need be. I have one of my guys has a shotgun, another one has a sniper rifle. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna wait till my HP is regenerated. But yeah, stuff keeps coming up out of here, but as long as we keep it lit down there, we should be okay. All right, let's bring everybody back up, bring back up the whole adventuring party. Um, yeah, and summon the boss. Take a little bit more food, 226. We are regenerating HP now. Uh, avoid that floor too, because it is very slow. Get ice back around myself, just making sure that everything is ready so that we can hit him with a ton of damage right when the fight starts. Take all of the battle potions, and then we summon. I didn't wait for my HP to fully regen, did I? <laughs> F me. <laughs> okay. Dodge. Just stay away from him. Stay in the open area. Stay in the open area. Okay, his coils seem to emerge from his body. I think you gotta keep a big enough area. I'm gonna die. Dude, at this rate, I'm gonna die. Just gotta find a way to get completely away from him. Like, to, to total safety so you aren't even thinking about him. Yeah, okay, so he basically, like, he guns for you, and then you dodge. That's when you use your dodge. I just need to stay alive because he's not targeting any of me. He's just targeting my party members. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's how you fight this fight. You've got to use the dodge at that time because all the coils stay close to his body, and he has 31 HP, and we killed him. Ooh, that was actually a really tough boss fight compared with the last one. I don't think I don't think it's rated as high as the giant vulture, but yeah, razor blade. It's really not even that good. Attack speed 6.1 though is pretty insane. Maximum five in the air. So basically, what he was just doing to us, we can now do. So like a really good close range weapon. Let's just see what this thing looks like on, say for example. Okay, that is pretty good because it can ricochet off of stuff. So if you're in a small room, it just does tons of damage. Uh, I bet it would be great in spider webs like over here. Just yeah, clear everything out super fast. I was totally about to die right there. Uh, but yeah, I think giving your party members a sniper rifle and a shotgun was the right decision here. Ooh, that is kind of sweet, actually. Look at it. It's great for clearing glass, uh, or uh, grass, oddly enough. Okay, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Not really for fighting, but just for mining stuff around. Uh, the other pickups we could have gotten from him would have been the Guardian Shell or the Dredging Staff. Um, this is kind of sweet, not really my preferred build here, I guess. But let's just go ahead and take away some of that Swamp Sludge. We'll grab some other, uh, more pickups. This looks like a Battle Potion over here, too. The Swamp Stone hasn't been as useful for me, sadly. Um, although I'm basically just running out of inventory space. I think let's just use a Recall Scroll, go home. Put some of this stuff away. My party members did pretty well here. Um, what do I have? Two guards. Neither guy died this time. Leave my adventure party and leave my adventure party. Just go ahead and take care of your own needs now. So we've now taken out almost half the bosses of the, in the game. We've taken out Evil's Protector, the one that we summoned here. 
which I could take out in like three seconds now. And I will. Let's just kill him again right now, just like for the sake of showing you how much stronger we are than we were a few minutes ago. Oops. He spawned on the outside. Okay, we gotta go out here. But like basically not a problem at all. Look at- we're just melting his entire HP bar. Um, uh, melting- eh, hey, actually that is slightly better than my Void Staff. Although unfortunately he does disappear up into the air for a while. So the next one that we'll go after is the Pirate King. This is basically just a joke right here. He just spends most of his time standing there. Unfortunately, we can't get any of the greater heal items before we uh, get to the spy uh, Pirate King, just because he has the deep ladders with him, and that's how we get Cave Glow, which is how we make most of the advanced items in the game. So we need to kill the Pirate King. The Pirate King is a pretty important boss. Um on your way to beat the game, and there's like one final wizard. There's a couple more things out there too, but... I feel like that the Pirate King is gonna be my kind of ultimate challenge here. Um, hang on a second, let's just go eat. Yeah, like he gives me a range foci. Uh, somewhat useful at this point. Let's put that away. What is this, more demonic bars? Okay, I guess I'll take that over a bunch of frog legs. All right, um, I don't know, let's go ahead and check out the Pirate King because there was the Pirate Village down there and I don't really know what to do with that, but also let's see what the Village Elder has to say about this. Uh, looking for a quest, complete quest. And it gives us 40 coins and a waystone and a homestone. Oh, that's really good. So can we like set a spawn point? That would have been so much more useful like a long time ago. Oh God. Uh, hang on a second, before one of the NPCs picks it up, let's go ahead and grab some of that stuff. Okay, so what does this do? Um, Waystone, Homestone. Can be placed, must be placed in a settlement it was... It was bought at. Okay, so let's put our Homestone right in the center of our settlement. Like maybe right there. And then a Waystone can be placed, will be destroyed when mined. Sold by the settlement mage. Okay, cool. So we can use our mage to buy one of these things. Now, I'm assuming we can use this to get to the, yeah, the waystones. So if we put one of these things into the pirate village, that means we don't have to keep using our boat every single time that we go back and forth. Uh, which is very useful, because I hate getting into the boat. It is kind of annoying. Although I do enjoy the sea. Naturally, as, as it is befitting. Um... I'm kind of thinking I just want to go up against the Pirate King just to see what he's like. I'd probably die to him, and then when I come back, you know, see what can be done about that. Basically, you go to the Pirate Village and you just attack him. I know that sounds kind of antisocial, because it is. Uh, and you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't attack people at random. Yeah. Thank you, Nessess. We all learned a lesson today. Anyway, let's go down to the Pirate Village. Okay, I am arriving at the Pirate Villages. Don't really know what to expect, although it seems pretty average otherwise. A bunch of cows, a bunch of zombies, just kind of like our own village. Uh, although I am told that there is a king of the pirates. Not Luffy D. Or not, not Luffy. But like an actually bad pirate. I'm not... T yeah, there we go. There are the bad... God, they have guns, too. Oh, I have a machine gun, fortunately. Uh, I guess they're just basically hostile to us completely. Let's go ahead and just put down our way station outside of this base before we really get into it. The pirate captain has only 7,000 HP, though. That doesn't actually sound that good. I've read that you're supposed to, like, box yourself in with this man. Okay, and he seems to have lost his health bar, so I guess if you go too far away from the village, you start to get that issue too. But you know, that's not really that much HP. I don't want to attack him at night though, so let's just go ahead and place some torches around the village. Try to take out the other pirates. And then if we... The other thing I've also read is that you don't really want to let him leave your view sight. Hang on a second. Step in your booty on our land. <laughs> they even have, like, dumb taglines. <laughs> oh god, their range is way better than mine. Actually, these pirates are rather are rather good. Um, I don't know why I was talking so much smack about the pirates. 
Now I feel bad about it. Jesus Christ, these pirates are pretty great. Okay, yeah, I do want to build a... Which one is the captain? Though? Okay, that one is very clearly the captain. He's shooting cannonballs at us. Okay, yeah. Fight time. Do not get hit by the captain's cannonballs. Yeah, I really should have built... Okay, now I know how I'm supposed to fight this man. And he has a giant ranged attack. Like, he has a huge vehicle. Okay, yeah, I wasn't even planning on fighting you this time. I probably will just leave. I'm just going to shoot him now and see if this goes anywhere. Okay, yeah, his speed and mobility are definitely going to be a challenge. Like, especially for NPCs to fight. I'm not going to be able to recall... Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. We will come back to the village, grab our stuff. Clearly, we are a little bit outclassed here, but also I didn't think I would be able to do that at all. And we have a way station now. Sweet. Dawn has risen, and it is time for us to go in and fight the Pirate King. I've brought my party of uh, stalwart adventurers. I have four guards with a shotguns and a wizard with a sniper rifle. And <laughs> I love this game so much. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going in for the Pirate King. We aren't really going to build a wall around him. Okay, there he is. Because it's just going to spawn the fight too many times. Or, I don't know, we'll get into trouble. Um, maybe I will bomb some of their houses, though, just to give myself a little bit more space. Although the pirates are pretty good at getting stuff done. Do not walk toward my bombs, men. We bomb our way toward the Pirate King, and it looks like my vultures have gone after him. For some reason, he's spawned in with more HP now. I don't know why. That is slightly disconcerting, though. I mean, we're basically just slaughtering him for right now. Jesus, though. That was a direct hit with a bomb. Okay, now he's getting up into his ship. God, he, another direct hit. I'm really failing at dodging. I think these fights are all just about bring a lot of familiars and summons, and then spend the rest of the fight dodging, which I'm really failing at right now. Although he has a very fast movement pattern, and it's, like, basically impossible to get to him. All right, I am giving up. I'm just going to start spawning icicles and then dash whenever he hits me with a bomb. It's just hard to see the bombs. Yeah, okay, don't kill my wizard. My wizard, I need my wizard. Okay, now this is starting to feel kind of easy. <laughs> Although I think I am wearing pretty good armor. He's just so freaking fast, man. This is the fastest pirate... Jesus. Ah, oh, man. You can't dodge this, man. I should have saved my dodges like I did in that last boss fight. That was way better. I, s I still think that this item is better, too, because I don't slow down when I'm using the Void Wand. I really botched this fight, didn't I? But, I mean, I still think we're going to win just because I brought back so many familiars with me to the fight. Okay. Huge victory. We have defeated the Pirate Captain. This is amazing. Uh, honestly, one of the greatest accomplishments of my entire life, aside from winning a spelling bee in first grade. Wow. Okay, so now he is Kane the Broken Pirate. Okay, you've defeated me. Now get me out of here. Will you join my settlement? I would love to join your settlement. What can you do? Uh, so he does just basic stuff. Okay. And he can help us in adventure parties. We just got the Pirate King to join us. Honestly... One of the greatest moments of my entire life, up until right now. Um, yes. Wow. Pirate King. I mean, okay, I'll tell you what is really exciting about this, is we get a deep ladder down, and we also got skillful hand cannon. What is this? This looks pretty insane. Is this the explosive item I've been... Oh my gosh, really? Shoots cannonballs... Dude, this is exactly what I was talking about before, that I could... Uh, it unfortunately doesn't destroy walls, but... Oh, well, will it destroy stone walls? Remains to be seen. Uh, deep ladder down, though, is, is the main item we were looking for. Other things that he could have dropped would have been... Uh, pirate telescope or spare boat parts, which would let us get... Um, like a steel boat or... I mean, they're among a number of other things. I believe there's a lot that he could... Uh, that that could get you. Um, what else? Though? He dropped some coins. We got the hand cannon. I think that's about it. We might have to repeat that boss battle somehow, though. Uh, let's head back to the camp. Where is he himself? 
I'm really doing everything out of order here, but I feel good just in that we've gotten so much more powerful. Like, I mean, we've got a way station. Uh, there are a few more bosses in the game. There's the Reaper, there's the Cryo Queen, the Pest Warden, which is like this huge snake. Um, Sage and Grit. It seems that most enemies are a long snake. And as well as the Fallen Wizard at the final boss fight. Um, I just want to go ahead and check this out, because this actually seems kind of cool. Unfortunately, that doesn't have the intended effect, but maybe there's some other item that does it. Anyway, let's just miss our adventuring party, because we've we've basically taken out all of the things that I want to. Leave my adventure party. Leave my adventure party. Um, where are you? Leave my adventure... Talk. Leave my adventure party, and the wizard also leave my adventure party. Cool. Also, Ryer, thank you very much for the prime. But yeah, like, there is the Pirate King. I'm kind of curious, though. Reach deep caves. I wonder if you, my wizard can take the hand cannon. Oh, like to give him infinite ammo? Probably, probably. Cannon. Ball? No. Probably at the demonic altar, then, if I can't do it here. And also, too, I think we can make our, uh, mill. It's just, it's nice to have, like, a whole farm and... Ah, like a base worth defending. It is, I'm getting the biggest vibe of, like, Rune Factory. Can't, uh, no, I can't make a cannonball. I wonder where I get those, or maybe I have to go find them. Bombs, I'm trying to think of where I found them. Buy ammo from the pirate. I just oh, so I have to buy the ammo from him. Thank you, thank you, Enduria. I appreciate that. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get our iron. Did we manage to get that iron to the? F I felt like that was a lot of iron that came back. I feel like our blacksmith is not the one thing I think would be nice would be work priorities. If you could be a little bit more specific here, because I've noticed crafting. My blacksmith is still handling, like, woodworking, and I would prefer that he kind of work on the blacksmithing in his own room. Um, can you hurt yourself with the can cannon? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes. Definitely. Although my regen... <laughs> Why do I have so much regeneration? Or what is... Nope, that was damage. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yes, you can definitely hurt yourself with the hand cannon. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to see Deep Ladder Down. Um, here we go. Let's put this stuff away. Uh, loose Flintlock. This is a pretty terrible weapon. Void Missile. Let's try the Deep Ladder Down down here. Um, can only use this on the surface. My bad. Now let's put a Deep Ladder Down in our own base. I mean, just to have it. Why not? Um... Hang on a second, let's put it like above the other one or something. This is going to bother me if I do it the wrong way. I'll put the deep ladder down on the top. Oh, uh, leave my adventure party. Here we go. Okay, deep ladder down. Ooh. Wow, like a whole new world to explore. It looks more lava-y down here. Hang on a second. Spruce display, deep stone. We went, like, straight into rock. This looks way more dense down here. I'm not sure if it is. It kind of remains to be seen, but... Let's just go a little bit of the way down here, too. Ooh, I guess we'll make our way to the lava, right? I don't think that my pickaxe is good enough to get through some of these walls. I might need to use quartz or, like, a stronger material. My ivy pick pickaxe seems to be failing me here now. Yeah, okay, this is definitely going to be a... Ooh, there's the cave glow that we were just uh, thinking about. Hang on a second, let's get this stuff. Okay, totally new loot tables. There goes a bomb. It seems darker. I mean, if that wasn't, like, inherently obvious in the name Deep... Deep Caves. Ooh, this is the cave glow! This is super helpful for getting, um... Like, better potions and stuff like that, too. Deep stone wall. Here we go. How come I can only get cave glow sprout? Oh, these are cave glow sprouts. 
Now we have bones, too. Oh, onions. I don't think we were growing onions up top. Okay, our inventory is getting really good now. Okay, we are getting another raid. Maybe we'll fend off one more raid. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, I really want to explore that. That seemed really cool. Although being raided right now kind of ruins it. Um, we are way more powerful probably than most of the raiders now, though. Hang on a second. Let's just go ahead and grab... I'm just going to put stuff in random chests. I love being able to put stuff in random chests and then your villagers just kind of handle it for you. Ectoplasm. Bones. Okay, here's the cave glow we were looking for. Greater mana potions. Yes, okay, now we have basically advanced to the... Uh, to the end of the game, or the ending part of the game. Or rather, the latter half of it. And I didn't mean that as a ladder pun, but, I mean, take it for what it is. Attack speed 2.2. 2.7. Okay, mine is better. And we have a, a real live pirate in our base. Yeah, the raiders do seem to scale, indeed. Yeah, look, now we've got... Oh, God. We've got, like, ivy armored raiders. Hang on a second. Let's go back in here. Um, I, I think I figured out the pattern that I like to keep the raiders at bay. <laughs> so I, I know what I'm going to do for this fight. Um, they're attacking. How dare they attack the morning woods? Just gonna put a weird wood segment in the wall over here. Okay, now I have to build this like immediately. Pickaxe this thing out. Throw a couple more torches down here. All right, let's see if they go into the place. It's kind of freaky music. The raid. Yep, they are coming the way that I had intended them. Okay, hopefully they will go over the water here. Because I'm now going to line them up for a huge shot. Do I have my sniper rifle on me too? No, I just have a shotgun, unfortunately. Okay, let's see if they come. Here they come, the raiders. <laughs> yeah, they're coming the way I thought they would. Okay, great. All right, let me take my battle potions. Ooh, good, good. Ah, that's like a RimWorld kill box. Okay, let's take out our hand cannon now. Oh, cool. That has great knockback. Okay, these guys are way more powerful, though, than the last ones. You've got to dodge on them pretty hard. Oh, God. Okay. Let them come into the village. Ooh, some of them are attacking the other sides. Although I think we fended off like the vast majority of them so our villagers should be able to do the rest of the work. I don't want to die myself though. I kind of prefer playing this game on hardcore a little bit now. Okay, I did die. That is kind of unfortunate. Oh no, we're missing the fight. Oh god, they're killing my whole village. <laughs> oh no, the broken pirate is dead. Oh, he defended valiantly though. <laughs> wow, they dropped such better gear off, though, too, that I think we'll be okay. No! That was, like, my favorite colonist, too. Does he come back? Uh. From being our enemy to dying as one of us. Truly made the transition to the light side. Anyway, I think I am going to leave it there. We had a, a valiant defense. I don't know if I'm going to pick up with this game later. I might do a longer campaign. I'm trying to think of other challenges. I just wanted to do a like, basic overview of the game. Because I think it's a really good game. And I, I want to do a video on this. I was like... I don't know. Sometimes when I do a challenge, I'm like stressed about filming it the right way. But I think when I play a game for the first time, I just feel like... Ah, it's a new discoveries, and everything just kind of seems to flow so right. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, this will be kind of like a side thing, but I'm excited. I don't know, I wanted to try it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I know this was a little bit short, although it went, like, slightly longer than anticipated. I didn't even think we would get quite this far into the game's content. And yet we did, and I feel like the pirate is a pretty good first boss without going to all the, like, later game content. 
And it kind of leaves room if I want to do something later on, too. Um, I don't know how long we spent in here. Probably, like, I don't know however many hours it was, too. It's a good game. I do recommend it. But yeah, anyway, I, I think we're going to call it there. Had a couple of raids. I think the raids might be the most exciting part of the game, too. Got to, like, kind of figure out how to make it feel, like, step by step. And I think that's most satisfying. I'd also like to play it on hardcore mode, if I can. Where, basically, once you die, you're dead. And then just be super careful. Sometimes you might even have to abandon your base. Lose all of your people. But just do it all to stay alive. Stay alive however you can, you know? Survival, man. Survival. Anyway, I have literally nothing left to say. So, I, I think, uh... Yeah, kind of non-linear. Choose your own adventure a little bit. Yeah, it's nice. I'm going to leave it there. going to leave it there.